Hey Terp fans, it is Mr. Smiley with another Terps win B1G war recap. This one a 71-58 victory over Ghost Angels BR, uh, busting our huge one loss uh, losing streak. Uh, so we're going to show on this one, uh, I'm going to be indulgent and show a couple of my attacks. Uh, mostly one because I'm awesome and I like to show off my awesome attacks. Um, but also this one, the, the couple of these three stars incorporate bowlers. And so I thought it, it might be interesting to, to show them off and see what they can do. Uh, just, you know, here's a standard Valkasm comp, uh, for those of you who might, may be interested in starting to use them, either you have bowlers yourself or you want to try to request them in the clan castle. Um, I'm only put three in here just because I wasn't sure how much impact they have and Frankly, after watching them, I'm not. Sh I'm still not sure how much impact they have. So I'm going to do a queen walk over on this end, and I'm going to bust through here so that I can reach th this air defense to protect my healers, and also because this is where that defensive ring is around the base, and that's what's going to make my giants go astray. So on this end of the funnel, and this is a lot like you know the old Jake One Hive Dragloon video. You got to set your edges. Set your edge one with the queen here, and then on the opposite end here, I'm going to throw in the three bowlers. And that, their goal is to try to take out the not only these outer defenses, but also hopefully kind of damage these in here. And I think I did a poor job of counting out their their range, and also didn't accommodate that their uh, the bowler AI for targeting. They will target their first, uh, you know, their primary target here, and they may. Sorry, they may still hit their secondary target, but once they've destroyed this primary target, they won't keep going after the secondary target, and instead they'll move over to another target, and then another first target, and so even though they, you know, here's their first target, here's their secondary target, as soon as they kill this one, you know, unless this secondary target is the next closest building, they will just switch to another primary target. So it's a little bit funky if you're trying to uh, go after that secondary row of defenses and they have more hit points than, uh, you know, that primary row, you're not going to destroy these secondary defenses once you've destroyed the, the primary ones because the bowlers will just move around to the end of the base. And another thing that um, I'm not sure if it was this one or the other attack that I'll show, uh, they also go faster than the golem, so they'll outrun the golem, uh, which is not exactly what you want to see. Uh, from your kind of fragile uh, damage uh, dealers, you want them hanging out behind the the golem. And it wouldn't be that bad if they were like the Valkyrie, where they attack uh, very quickly now. Uh, the post-update Valkyrie, of course. Uh, so the bowlers, they, they kind of walk quicker than the golem, but then they take forever to target. Uh, so that's, you know, these are only level one bowlers. Uh, you know, it's something to think about. Uh, still some potential, as you can see with the, the the second attack where they could actually reach the defensive ring. It they provided a little bit more value, and um, you know it's it's basically a a kind of chain effect uh, wizard where it it, it damages both. I, I don't know. They, they seem a, a bit fragile, and uh, I'm not entirely sure how much I'm going to seriously put them into army compositions just yet, um, especially since if this if this target had had a uh, Dragloon in the clan castle, the bowlers being ground only uh, would have hurt me. Uh, as it was, it ended up having a, uh, a hound, I think, uh, in both of these bowler attacks. Um, so there, set the funnel, and then, you know, the main damage, the uh, clan castle giants and all those max Valkyries and my king are going to run right up that rage path into the core, freeze one of them. And then they're just going to core out this building, uh, core out this base. And then at this point, you know, once they get the Expos and the Inferno in the core, I mean, anything that they get after that is just gravy. Um, and especially on a base that has really nice walls like this, it's, it's basically just a race against time. So as you can see, the, the bowlers are still going around and they are having effect that they're, you know, they're not useless by any means. Um, but the question is, is it better to have, the bowlers who are affecting the secondary targets, uh, or is it better to just have more wizards? If there had been a Dragloon in that clan castle and I had wanted to freeze it uh, and kill it with my wizards, having only five or six wizards is not going to get the job done. Um, so maybe if you're dragging uh, 
dragging the the clan castle out to the queen and killing it with a poison and a rage. Uh, you know, maybe that's something you don't really have to worry about. Uh, if you're if you're only caring about five wizards in an attack like this, you definitely do need to worry about it. But as you can see, as I'm rambling around about uh, rambling on about bowlers, my uh, kill squad has kind of petered out there, but my queen is still up to full health. I think she still has all four healers on her, a couple of archers just doing some nonsense on a wall over there. My minions having some value with the cleanup, but this is still a little bit boring to watch. Uh, so let's go ahead and fast forward this to the end, and there you can see three star against an 88. So even if the bowlers aren't completely responsible for, for a three star, uh, you know, they certainly didn't hurt. Um, so let's go ahead and let's watch the second uh, three star. And uh, this one is the same comp. Uh, it's against a nemesis base. So this is kind of our uh, our best friend as a Town Hall 10 because we smoke these regularly. And he was nice enough there, you can see, to, to put some extra walls over here. Not that they would have really done much if he had put them like in here. We would have just earthquaked them out. Um, so here, start the queen out in safety. Make sure she catches the archer tower before you drop those healers. Uh, you know, we have enough experience raiding these bases ten times a day that we know she's not really going to wrap around down there. She's going to go over and start picking apart defenses. Uh, again, because we raid these bases so often, we know the, the, the timing. Uh, and again, here are the bowlers down at the bottom. and I'll, I'll go down here so you can see what they're doing. And so there, it's just three again. Uh, they're just setting that funnel out there, and then they're going to follow the rest of my crew into the core there. Drop the rage, drop a early heal, drop the freight, the freeze while the heal's still up. Drop the second rage, and let's just core that mother out. Uh, queen doing her work over there. A couple of giants spill out and a golem spill out. There you can see the the bowlers are in the core there. Still doing some damage. I mean, that's one of the things that I, I do like about it, at least in theory, is that when you get stuck in the core, if you if you do have several bowlers in the core, you can see that they could get not only that first row of defenses, but then also some trash buildings and some defenses that are outside there without having to wait to bust through that core. And since they do splash damage, kind of like loons, they don't target the walls, but if there's a building next to the wall, those bowlers should help weaken it a bit. So again, here come the cleanup minions, just you know, trying to prevent the you know a 95% two star that failed because of time. Um, although, frankly, with the Valkyries being so effective now, uh, the reduction from three and a half to three minutes hasn't really been an issue. Um, so if if they nerf Valkyrie again, I'm I'm hoping they consider that that uh, Town Hall 10s really like three starring, and we would like to keep it that way. And let's just finish it off, uh, poor minions. All right, so another nice three-star by me. Actually, a six-star war, including my mini. Uh, let's go ahead and let's watch the bowlerless uh, raid comp. Uh, this is kind of a uh, common, but but also can be a little bit tricky if you're not used to it. Uh, Town Hall 10 ring base. Gat decides, you know, look, those those spaces are so close together. That's an easy earthquake drop. That rather than coming in the corner, uh, I'm going to let my queen have easy access to the defenses at the corner uh, so that she can set that funnel. He opens up that pocket there so that I guess she has a choice whether she wants to go in, in the base or whether she's just going to walk around that, that pocket and help take out defenses for funneling. Uh, here come the, the giants, some wizards, wall breaker. Probably should have sent the wall breaker closer to the queen side, uh, but since there is that pocket they're gonna, you know, they're gonna go right into where he dropped that earthquake, so it didn't really matter. I guess it, actually it, it did matter, and he did the right thing because he wanted them to go uh, straight towards there instead of circling back towards that left side of that pocket and then having to go back. Anyway, got to do a good job. All right, uh, so Hound in the Clan Castle, uh, Rage, Giant, Valkyrie, Wizard, King. Let's just core out the middle of this base, uh, bust through those skull walls. As you can see, the Valkyrie are running around a little bit, chopping down wizard towers, chopping through uh, you know, that skull wall, queen just walking around. I mean, at this point, it's a race against the clock, against Town Hall 9 max defenses. 
Uh, there's nothing in here that's going to kill his queen uh, unless something goes completely wacky with her AI. Uh, against a max Town Hall 10, sometimes you do have to worry that you're going to take too much point damage, especially if you've lost a healer. Uh, against this, there's really not much suspense. Gas just going to walk away with a really nice three star. And you never hate when you three star the one, two, and four of an opponent. All right. Let's just watch the cleanup. Boom. All right. And clean up wall breakers. Just making Paul proud. All right. Let's go. Uh, we're only going to watch one Town Hall 9 attack. Uh, I'll try to make it up. The next war, I think, is, is mostly Town Hall 9s. Uh, so we'll hopefully see some really good attacks against some really nice bases. But let's go in and let's watch Beefy. And I do want to just point out, you know, here's a, a nice variation. Beefy likes the, the Valk Heavy attacks. Uh, he has eight of his own here, the, the level four. And then he, in the clan castle, instead of a golem to set the funnel, he's going to have uh, Max Valkyrie. And he's going to use these four giants over here to set the funnel and uh, try to get as much damage as possible. Even though le they... They nerfed the level 4 Valkyries. Really, it's only 100 hit points less than they were pre-update. And they do a ton more damage. Not only the actual damage per second, but because they start their swing earlier. And that, the effect of that is just huge. Um, so, you know, yes, they nerfed Valkyrie, but that was only after a massive, massive buff. So, level 4 Valkyrie are still godlike. Um, and then level 5 are just cherry on top of godlike. Uh, all right, so there we go, chopping up the queen, chopping up air defenses. You know, get that, get that crew into the core. Beefy likes the uh, the the jump. I prefer the four heal, uh, but the jump definitely does target your kill squad much better um, than than going with, with the four heal. It's also a little bit base dependent, but there you can see, you know, Valkyrie just ripping it apart from the inside, and then the hogs around the perimeter. Uh, I mean, it's it's really tough to stop Valkyrie in the core and then Surgical Hogs all around um, with somebody who has a little bit of experience with it. And there you can see almost all the defenses are down at this point. He drops a heal. Valkyrie are still up. And there really isn't going to be all that much to, to stop him. The Hound's still floating over. Uh, that's one of the, the reasons why these attacks are so effective against Hounds in the Clan Castle. You know, it take, it's a little bit trickier if you have to get rid of the Dragloon. Um, I prefer, like I showed in the Queen Walk video, um, doing a Queen Walk to take care of a Dragloon. I think that that paired with the Valkyrie and the Hog is super effective also. Uh, but since he did have the, the Hound in the Clan Castle, this is, uh, you know, he really doesn't have to worry about it until the end. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Really nice three-star by, by Beefy. And a uh, really solid victory overall. So until next time, let's go Terps!